when it comes to giving and receiving gifts, you've heard it said that it's the thought that counts. Now, I'm not sure if I totally buy into that. I mean, I appreciate when somebody puts thought into giving a gift to me, but I also want it to be practical, you know, something I can use, something I can enjoy. Uh, this last birthday, my son got me this magnetic wristband. And you put screws and nails on there. And if you're doing a project around the house, you know, you don't have to search for those things. They're handy. They're right there. If you're on a ladder, you know, it just makes it easy. You're putting a nail in. You just pull the nail off the wristband and put it on there. Now, I haven't used it yet, but uh, I think it can be pretty handy. Looking forward to taking advantage of that. But I want to talk about a different kind of gift. I mentioned it in my last Devo last week. And it's the spiritual gifts that God gives us as his children. And God puts a lot of thought into those gifts, and he wants us to use them. He wants them to be very practical. There are four passages in the New Testament that talk about spiritual gifts, and I want to encourage you to read through these. 1 Corinthians 12, Romans 12, Ephesians 4, and 1 Peter 4. And I'm going to share a couple verses here from Ephesians 4 as we look at what happens when we use these gifts. Now, spiritual gift is given to each believer, each person, when they become a child of God, when God adopts them into his family, you become a Christian, he gives you at least one spiritual gift. And the purpose of the gift is for you to not use it for yourself, but for you to give it away for the building up of the church, the church family. It's, it's stated in almost all those passages that that's the purpose. It's not for you, it's for others, for you to give that gift away. Kind of a unique uh, perspective on gifts. So I want to just read through this section here in Ephesians 4 because what happens is when you and I receive this gift and we start putting it into action, some beautiful things happen. And let me read Ephesians chapter 4, and this is verses 14 through 16. Then we will no longer be immature like children. We won't be tossed and blown about by every wind of new teaching. We will not be influenced when people try to trick us with lies so clever they sound like the truth. Instead, we will speak the truth in love, growing in every way more and more like Christ, who is the head of his body, the church. He makes the whole body fit together perfectly as each part does its own special work. It helps the other parts grow so that the whole body is healthy and growing and full of love. Now, I love that part where it says as each part does its work, as as we employ these gifts that God has given us, it helps the other parts grow so that the whole body is healthy and growing and full of love. That would be a beautiful result for the church if we could do that. So I want to encourage you to get online and do a spiritual gift assessment. If you don't know what your gifting is, then go online. There's several you can choose from. There's one from Lifeway that might be a good one to start with. But if you maybe do a couple of them, I think you're going to find some common Uh, giftings that pop up for you. The other thing I want to encourage you to do once you determine what that gift is, is is ask people around you. Have they seen that in your life? Have they seen you using that gift? You may have already been using the gift, uh, maybe showing up in different ways as you serve, as you you think about what comes out of your mouth. And and you may get confirmation then from people who know you best and, and love you. They can be honest with you and say, yeah, I see that gift in you. Maybe It may be the gift of encouragement, or it may be the gift of knowledge, or an administrative gift. There are over a dozen different gifts that God can give out, and he wants us to use them. And as we do, that's what we're going to see. Ephesians chapter 4 is going to come to life. We're going to have a church family that looks more and more like Jesus, and it's full of love. So take advantage of that. We'll talk more about spiritual gifts. Uh, Take that step, check out uh, one of those assessments and see what God has given to you for you to give away. God bless you.